In this video, we're going to walk through the multi-product uh, break-even analysis in problem 3-36. Um, we've got, again, three steps. First, we'll calculate the combined contribution margin ratio for both of our products, the regular coffee and the latte. Second, we'll calculate the break-even level of total sales. Third, we'll calculate the level of sales that are going to be required for each product. And then, of course, we'll also then prove that that is indeed the break-even level of sales. We're going to do this based on both units and sales dollars. To begin with, in this product, we aren't given information regarding units of sales, so we need to multiply our per unit price of $1.50 for the regular coffee times our sales mix ratio of 60%, since so 60% of our sales are regular coffee. Our variable cost will do the same thing. 70 cents per cup times our sales mix ratio of 60%. And our combined or our contribution margin ratio again for our lattes will be the 90 minus the 42 or 48 cents. For product B, lattes, we're selling them for $3 a piece. 40% of our sales are latte. And for variable cost, we'll take our $1.25 and multiply it by our 40% sales mix ratio. And our combined or our contribution margin ratio for our lattes is the 150 minus the um, 50 cents or 70 cents is our contribution margin per unit uh, for our product B when we consider a sales mix ratio. On a combined basis, then, our average cup of coffee sells for, um, let's try that again, our average cup of coffee sells for 120 plus the 90 cents for $2.10 a cup. The average cost is $0.50 cents plus $0.42 cents or $0.92 cents is what on average cost us to sell a cup of coffee. And then our contribution margin per unit for an average cup of coffee is the $2.10 minus the $0.92 cents or $1.18 is the average profit we make per cup of coffee. Notice on regulars, $1.50 minus 70 cents, we would make 80 cents would be our contribution margin. On lattes, we would make $3 minus 125, we'd make $1.75. But on a combined average basis, we are making 18 cents per cup. Let's calculate our contribution margin ratio then. The 210 divided by the 210 is 100%. The 92 cents divided by the 210 on average for every dollar in sales, it's costing us 43, almost 44 cents. And we are making a profit of 56 cents. All right, let's go ahead and calculate our break even level of total sales. Break even net income is zero. Our fixed cost, we are told, are $7,080 which means we need a total contribution margin of $7,080. Let's pick up our per unit information. On average, we're making $1.18 per unit in selling coffee. So we will need to sell, on average, $7,000 total uh, contribution margin divided by $118 per unit. We're going to need to sell 6,000 cups of coffee. If we were to do this on a sales dollar basis, again, net income is where break even is where net income is zero. Our fixed costs were 7,080, which means we need a total contribution margin of 7,080. Our contribution margin ratio on a combined basis is 56 cents. In other words, for every dollar in sales, it is costing us 43 cents and we're making a profit of 56 cents, which means in total sales dollars, we would need to sell 7,000 divided by the uh, 56 cents per cup, $12,600 worth of coffee. Let's go ahead and now calculate the uh, level of sales for each product. Let's pick up our sales mix for product A. 60% of our coffees are um, regulars and then of course 40 percent are lattes which means out of the six thousand cups six thousand times sixty percent 
3,600 of them will be regular coffees, and 40% times the 6,000, 2,400 will be lattes. On a dollar basis, we need to calculate our sales mix in terms of dollars. We do that by taking the 90 cents um, for product A, dividing it by the 210 total. 42.9% of our sales are for regular coffee. And we can take the 120, divide it by the 210, and 57% of our coffee, and again, this is on a dollar basis, are lattes. On a per unit basis, 60% of our sales are regular coffees, but since they are cheaper in terms of selling price and sales mix in terms of dollars, we have a lower sales mix ratio. Let's go ahead and calculate now our sales dollars at break even. We've got our 42.9% times 12,600. We will sell $5,400 worth of uh, product A or the uh, regular coffees. And we will sell 57% times 12,600. We will sell $7,200 worth of lattes. Let's go ahead now and do our proof. All right, our sales will be 3,600 units times $1.50 per coffee. There's our 5,400. For our lattes, we've got 2,400 lattes times $3 per latte, 7,200, just as we found with our sales mix in terms of dollars. Our variable cost, 3,600 cups times 70 cents a cup. And we've got 2,400 cups times our variable cost of $1.25 per cup. And we can calculate our contribution margins for each of our products for regular coffees. Our total contribution margin is 2,880. For the lattes, it is 4,200. On a combined basis, the 4,200 plus the 2,880 gives us 7,080, which conveniently exactly equals our fixed cost, and we have found our break-even point for our lattes and coffees, assuming the sales mix stays at a constant per unit sales mix of 60%, 40%, or on a dollar basis, it stays at 42% and 57%.